is asking Wayne a question. Wayne, you know a lot about history. When did World War I start? It started on July 28, 1914. Did all of the countries start fighting then? No one fought until the 2nd of August. Then, Germany and Luxembourg started fighting. When did Italy join? Italy joined the war in 1915. Before 1915, they were friends with the enemy countries. However, they joined the good side in the war. When did the war end? The official end was on January 10th, 1920. Most countries stopped fighting the year before, though. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to Part B of ABC Tuck for this month. Today we'll be reading again from a dialogue called Talking About Days and Dates. Last time, our friends Wayne and Carrie were planning to go to a movie, the new Batman movie. They decided to go to the movie on Sunday after a whole lot of discussion on time and scheduling. Right. We heard the word when said many times on the first day of our lesson. When can we go? So on, so forth. And guess what? We'll be having another discussion about time today. That's what Carrie and Wayne will be talking about once again. Today, though, Carrie and Wayne will be talking about days and dates while talking about history. Correct. Anyway, before we get started on today's lesson, we need to take a look at the vocabulary words for the day. 在今天的对话里 ，Carrie 和 Wayne 在聊历史。Carrie 问 Wayne 第一次世界大战是什么时候开始的？那战争的英文是 war。World War One 就是指第一次世界大战。接着 ，Carrie 又问，当时是不是所有的国家都开战了？那这边有两个单字 ，country，country country 就是国家，它是当名词来用。同学们喜欢出国吗 ？Which country do you want to go to? Which country do you want to go to? 你想去哪一个国家呢？下一个单字 ，fight。Fight 是指打仗或是打架，它是当动词。那它的动词三态是 fight, fought, fought。我小时候要去上学之前，阿妈都会提醒我，卖个狼玩 gay 哦，不要跟人家吵架哦。那么打架就更不应该了。You shouldn't fight with your classmates. You shouldn't fight with your classmates. 你不应该跟同学打架。接着 ，Wayne 解释说，第一次世界大战一开始是德国和卢森堡先开打。德国是 Germany， 卢森堡是 Luxembourg。好，那么 Carrie 又问他，意大利什么时候加入战争？意大利是 Italy。那我们来看一下单字 join。join 这个字就表示加入、参与，它是当动词来用。假如你想要加入吉他社，你可以说。I want to join the guitar club. I want to join the guitar club. 接着 Carrie 又问，战争是什么时候结束的？那结束的英文是 end. End. 它可以当名词，也可以当动词。我们用不同词性来造两个例句。Their wedding will be held at the end of October. Their wedding will be held at the end of October. 他们的婚礼将会办在十月底。那句子里的 end 是当名词用。The show ended at around 10 p.m. The show ended at around 10 p.m. 那场表演大约是晚上十点结束的。那句子里的 end 是当动词用。好啦，现在我们已经看完单字例句，接着回到课文中。Carrie is asking Wayne a question. Wayne, you know a lot about history. When did World War One start? It started on July twenty eighth, nineteen fourteen. Did all of the countries start fighting then? No one fought until the second of August. 
Then, Germany and Luxembourg started fighting. Explanation 1 Welcome, everyone. The title of Part B of this month's ABC Talk is Talking About History. Carrie and Wayne will be talking about days and dates while talking about history. Now, what does all of this mean? Well, let's start reading and find out. Sounds good. But before we start reading from the dialogue between Wayne and Carrie, let's describe the setting. Right before our dialogue begins, Carrie is asking Wayne a question. I think I know what's coming. She's going to be asking Wayne questions. Questions about history, right? Spot on, Jeff. Before asking her first question, Carrie says, Wayne, you know a lot about history. Now let's have Daphne explain the sentence pattern somebody knows a lot about something. 大家好,我是Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 somebody knows a lot about something. 意思是某人对某事所知甚多。Now在这里是不及物动词,知道了解的意思。后方用介系词about关于引出了解的事物, a lot则是副词片语很多的意思。使用时至于动词的后方,合在一起, somebody knows a lot about something,意思就是某人对某事物所知甚多。例如, the fat knows a lot about cats. Thank you, Daphne. So, Carrie is about to ask Wayne some questions. She lets loose the first of her questions. She asks Wayne, When did World War I start? Hmm. World War I, eh? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good topic to me. I hope Wayne is ready for the barrage of World War I questions about to come his way. Because Carrie sure does have a lot of questions about World War I. Right. First, she asks, when did World War I start? And Wayne answers her by saying, it started on July 28th, 1914. By the way, that is a date. World War I began on July 28th, 1914. That's a date. But things are a little more complicated than that, you see. Every country in the world did not fight in World War I. Further, the countries that did fight didn't all start fighting at the same time. Some, I mean all, didn't even start fighting on July 28, 1914 for that matter. Which brings us to the second of Kerry's questions. Did all of the countries start fighting then, she asks. Did all of the countries start fighting on July 28, 1914? Wayne answers her by giving her two facts. No one fought until the 2nd of August, he says, before adding, then Germany and Luxembourg started fighting. Germany, sure, but Luxembourg? Germany and Luxembourg? Really? I did not know that. Anyway, with that, it is now time to take a break. But don't go away, folks. We'll be back soon. When did Italy join? 
Italy joined the war in 1915. Before 1915, they were friends with the enemy countries. However, they joined the good side in the war. When did the war end? The official end was on January 10th, 1920. Most countries stopped fighting the year before, though. Explanation 2 Welcome back to part B of this month's ABC Talk. Today, Carrie and Wayne are talking about history. Also, if you've forgotten, this month's lesson is titled Talking About Days and Dates. Before the break, Carrie was asking Wayne questions. Wayne, you see, is a history buff. He knows a lot of things about World War I. And Wayne, before the break, had answered all of Carrie's questions. But Carrie is not done. She has two more questions for Wayne. Okay, next up she asks, When did Italy join World War I? Italy? What made Carrie think of Italy? Well, I have no idea. Wayne, though, knows all about Italy's role in World War I. Italy joined the war in 1915, he tells Carrie. Then he tells her more about Italy during the years of World War I. Before 1915, they were friends with the enemy countries. That means that Italy and the Italians were connected to the bad guys. Oh, one more thing. Before moving on, we have to pause. You see, there are two grammar points in that sentence. So, let's take a look. 今天的第二则文法是before的三种用法。第一,当解释词,意思是在点点点之前,后方接名词或动名词。your hands before meals,吃饭前先洗手。第二,before当副词,意思是以前,先前,使用的时候多至于句子的尾巴。例如, this has never happened to me before. 这种事以前从来没有发生在我身上过。第三, before当连接词, 连接两个完整的子句。注意, before引出的子句是后发生的事情, 因此我们也可以把before翻译成然后哦。例如, I hated the leftover pizza in the oven before I had my first bite. 我把剩下的披萨用烤箱热过,然后才咬下第一口。今天的第三则文法是 A is friends with B, 意思是 A 和B 是朋友。在这个表达法当中, 由于A还有B 互为朋友,因此friend,朋友要用复数型的 friends. 例如, Connie is friends with Brown, Okay, Wayne tells Carrie about World War I and how Italy was friends with enemy countries before 1915. Then Wayne continues, saying, However, they joined the good side in the war. And that means Italy and the Italians joined the good guys in the war. Well, good for the Italians. Mm. Mm. It just occurred to me that I have no idea when World War I ended. I now know when it started, July 28th, 1914. As for its end date, though, I am clueless. Me too. Thank goodness for people like Wayne, though. Anyway, 
Next, we learn that Carrie, too, wants to know when World War I ended. When did the war end? She asks Wayne. And Wayne, of course, history buff, World War I aficionado and overall genius, knows the answer to this question. Wayne knows the answer. He says, the official end was on January 10th, 1920. Next up, he adds some detail to his answer, saying, the war ended then, though most countries stopped fighting the year before. 好，文英知道很多第一次世界大战的细节。他说，战争是在一九二零年一月十日结束，正式结束。不过，大部分的国家在前一年就停战了。那课文里的补充单字 official 就是形容正式的。我们顺便学一下细节的英文叫做 detail， d e t a i l， detail。好，那么 Wayne 懂很多，他像是一本活生生，像一本活的历史课本。像这样的人，我们可以说他是 a fountain of knowledge。knowledge 是知识，那么 fountain 是指泉水或是喷泉，也可以用来指泉源、根源。fountain 是拼作 f o u n t a i n。好，当人家是当一个人，他是知识的泉源，那这就表示对方学识渊博。Wayne sure is a fountain of knowledge. How does he remember all of those dates, though? I have no idea. Anyway, folks, our time is now up, and it's time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Show she sha, my shang hui lai ho. 与朋友讨论最喜欢的电影明星，你一定要知道的实用句型有哪些？欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是吉安。好朋友讨论电影的时候，当然会讨论什么自己喜欢的明星啊，还有演技啊，嗯、要怎么说？嗯，我们今天跟大家分享一下这个讨论明星演技相关的话题的三个实用句型。Who is your favorite actor? His acting was a highlight. It really sucks. 首先呢，如果讨论这个剧情，哎，剧情叫什么 ？Plot. A plot. 对，他会问说，哎，喜欢哪个演员？喜欢那个女的那个？就打开话匣子啊。嗯哼，最喜欢的演员。对。Who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? 那女演员的话呢是 actress, actress, actress 啊、嗯哦。那现在其实 actor 都可以，都可以了吧？男女通用。对对对。嗯、哦，我最喜欢哦，讲完了，大家知道我年纪。汤姆克鲁斯。<笑>汤姆克鲁斯。对。那就直接回答、嗯、，My favorite actor is 某某人。哦，好、啊。所以你是汤姆克鲁斯。汤姆克鲁斯。My favorite actor is Tom Cruise. My favorite actor is Tom Cruise. 嗯。哎，他演真的很棒，不可能的任务有没有 ？Mission Impossible。对，超超扯的哈，超扯，扯翻天。好，那我们要评论一个演员的演技的话呢，嗯、其实我们可以说他的他演出的地方真的是重点，重点，一大亮点，真的。His acting was a highlight. His acting was a highlight.、哦、highlight 是重点，是强调的意思啊，所以他的这个意思啊，这句这句话就是他的演技是一大亮点，嗯，就看这个他他演技的部分就好了。
其实它一出来就是亮点、嗯、，highlight。对对,对。OK， 但是演员 A 咖 B 咖，就是就是他不是很有名，但是对,对最厉害的这些就是 A 咖了，我们会说是 A list。哦、oh, ，A list 就是最厉害的这些人啊。那人嘛，所以我们会变成 A listers。A listers。那 B 卡 ，B B listers 这样就好了。对，也有什么 C 卡、D 卡啦。对对对。如果要说我个人演技真的烂透了，要怎么说呢？嗯，烂透了，烂爆了。我们用一个英文字就好了，嗯、就是 suck。suck。烂透，烂爆了。OK， her acting sucks。her acting sucks。嗯，她的这个。演技真的是太烂了,、哦、了，那你就看什么东西烂了、啊，比如说这本书太烂，这本书太烂，不好看。This book sucks. This book sucks. 天气太烂了。The weather sucks. Sucks. 对，或者是我们直接用虚主词，用 it.、嗯、it really sucks. It really sucks. 啊、哦，这个 it 就看你要指什么了，就是什么什么样的状况，就反正啊，就 How was it? How was your interview? Ah,、uh, it really sucks. 烂<笑>透了。对，好，但我们今天要看的 live。Action 才没有 sucks， 才最棒的呢。悠<笑>悠 ，Yeah， who is your favorite actor？ 啊、uh, ，My favorite actor is Tom Cruise。Tom Cruise， 嗯、mm, mm. ，I love him too。You know his acting in Mission Impossible series was really the highlight。And the other B listers did a great job that's too。That's right, that's right、mm。-hmm. But、uh, the other movies he act in suck though。Yeah, I know which ones you are talking about. They really suck. They really suck. <sighs>、yeah. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟单元喽。那我们在 A B C Talk 又学到了四个单词，现在就用一分钟的时间帮大家复习一下。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单词是国家，国家英文怎么说呢？叫做 country， country。Holly visited three countries last year。Holly 她去年造访了三个国家。再看第二单词，它可以表达打仗或者是打架，这个字怎么说呢 ？Fight， fight。它的动词三态是 fight， fought， fought。Their son sometimes。Fights at school. 他们的儿子有时候会在学校跟人家打架，打架是不好的行为哦。再看第三单词，表示加入或者是参与，像加入某个组织啊，加入社团之类，它叫做 join. Join. We are going to the beach. Would you like to join us? 我们要去海边，你要加入我们吗？第四个单词是指结束，结束叫什么 ？End. End. 它可以当动词，也可以当名词哦。来看动词的例句 ：The meeting ended at noon. 那场会议在中午十二点结束。来看名词的例句。They need to finish the project by the end of the week. 他们必须在这个礼拜结束之前把这个七安专专案计划完成。好，太好了！我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那回去也要多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。Thank、you